in this case, uh, our objective is to analyze the star structure, which is uh, uh, electrical transmission uh, line carrying uh, structure. So these points are where the cables will be attached and hence the loadings. So we'll, we'll be using beam, beam elements to model this and use uh, a simple mesh so that uh, these node, node points are like exactly at these uh, vertices. And so if we model this in Lisa, and this is how it's going to look. And uh, as you can see, it's symmetrical both in x, y, and z, y plane. So we can use a quad model uh, to analyze this, which will uh, reduce the computational burden uh, in the analysis. But uh, since this is a simple model, it won't be much of a burden in analyzing the whole structure. But uh, in usual industrial practice, it's so much better to use symmetrical assumptions, with, which would simplify the model. So what you can do is, using the, this uh, create node option, you can enter the coordinates of all the node points, and then select beam and truss elements, and create the elements. So this ground point should be fixed. So what you can do is select, go to select nodes and click this node and then select phases which which would result in uh, the, the the software selecting the phases that are uh, connected to the node and then you can right click loads and constraints new fix support in this case i'm not going to do it since i've already uh, added the fixed added the constraints uh, in this software, it's kind of different because, like in in something like ANSYS, you can just uh, click on the node and just assign it. But in this case, you have to select the node and then have you have to select the respective phases to apply the constraint. And then, and on the y x x y plane, we have taken the symmetric conditions so we have to restrain uh, the the x -dis displacement on these nodes since we assume that uh, symmetric conditions it won't have any displacements in the x direction so you can select the nodes like this and then select phases right click uh, and then new displacement and you can uh, assign the x value to zero i've done that already so i'm not going to do it again similarly on the yz plane you can uh, constrain the displacement in the z direction so that's going to be the constraints of the model um, and then at these points you can assign the loads uh, that also can be done using right click loads and constraints new force and then once the loads and the constraints are applied you can uh, run the solution in this case I'll clear the already existing one and then run it again finished and then you can see the results if you check if you want to check the nodal reactions you see here 490, which is the sum of the forces that I applied in these two points, which were 245. So the model should be accurate. Uh, 
one thing that's missing in the software is like uh, in something like Kansas, you could visualize the whole structure by like uh, replicating the geometry. But in this case, you'll have to uh, create the whole model and uh, simulate it if you need to uh, visualize the whole structure. So yeah, that's it.